Here's a picture of today's satellite service provider. He's got one thing on his mind. How can he get more bandwidth? There's a lot of opportunity out there, but his ticket to success is affordable satellite capacity. Here's a high throughput satellite. It's the answer to the service provider's needs, right? Well, he's not so sure. There are a lot of questions swirling out there. Is the high throughput opportunity just a consumer play? Who will own and operate the infrastructure? How will service providers maintain their margins, differentiation, and customer focus? These are questions that we too are asking at iDirect. We've taken a look at what the answers might be, and there's good news for everyone. Let us show you what we mean. We need to start with this reality. High throughput satellites are fundamentally different in terms of design and ground segment requirements from traditional satellites. Traditional satellites use large regional beams that cover an entire footprint with fixed capacity. Any service provider can own a hub and teleport and offer services to customers as long as they're in the satellite footprint. By contrast, high throughput satellites employ multiple spot beams to increase capacity through a process called frequency reuse. A dedicated high bandwidth feeder link is required to serve the spot beams. Hub infrastructure must be located within the feeder link to serve all the spot beams. So now, let's take a look at how high throughput satellites will impact our traditional value chain. We need to focus on the business models that are evolving to make high throughput capacity available. For simplicity, let's break it into six key elements. Satellite capacity, the teleport facility, hub infrastructure, network operations, the service provider, and end users. The first high throughput satellite offerings that emerged were based on a managed service model. The satellite operator owns and operates all the infrastructure and the service provider offers a managed service to end users. In this model, satellite operators are managing the economics of the ground segment infrastructure of high throughput satellites. Now, we're seeing more traditional business models being adopted by high throughput satellite operators. Some have chosen a hub co-location model. Here, the satellite operator owns and operates the satellite and teleport. A service provider then locates its hub infrastructure in the operator's teleport manages network operations, and provides service directly to end users. Other satellite operators have chosen to offer a virtual network operator model, where service providers lease hub infrastructure space and only need to invest in line cards. Each of these models has its advantages, and they're nearly identical to the business models active today. So how can service providers integrate these business models with their existing operations and grow their business? Say you're a service provider based in Europe. To serve customers in the region, you launch a KU band network. You build a teleport, buy a hub, and lease capacity from a satellite operator. Then you decide to expand to Africa, offering a C-band service. Since this is a new market, it makes more sense to co-locate a hub in a teleport operator's facility. Later, some of your European customers ask for bandwidth in Asia. So, you decide to expand again over KU Band. You determine that the best strategy is to become a virtual network operator to minimize capital investments and quickly launch a service. Suddenly, high throughput satellite capacity becomes available. You see new opportunity and decide to expand into the Middle East, this time over high throughput KA Band. You opt for a virtual network operator agreement with a plan to establish a new hub later based on customer demand. Over in Asia, you're ready for that stage. A high throughput KU band satellite is now live and you co-locate a hub in the satellite operator's teleport. As you size up your business opportunity, you make one more move. Back in Europe, you partner with a KA band operator and lease a managed service as a strategy to expand into the mobility market. You avoid CapEx altogether and can enter the market easily and quickly. So how do you manage all this in the future? Everything can be integrated on the iDirect platform. Our strategy for our partners is simple. Adopt the most effective technology and business models and manage a blended service portfolio over a single platform. Then the only thing on your mind will be greater and greater business opportunity.